What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed ramp your real estate videos inside of After Effects. Now I've done some speed ramping tutorials in the past, mainly just for car videos. So this one is going to be targeted for real estate videos when you're filming houses and want to add some speed ramping to your edits. So to make it easy, I already have my timeline created with all the clips that I want to use. I mean, obviously you're going to have to select the clips and put them in order. But the first thing you want to do before you even like bring in your clips or your footage is for the audio, the music, you want to go ahead and bring it into your timeline, obviously. And then if you hit LL on your keyboard twice, it'll bring up these waveforms. And what you want to do with these waveforms is look at the spikes in the audio. As you can see, I've already put markers on the peaks of the bass, not every single like instrument in the beat. Obviously, you want to add a marker to, but just like the main cutting points, I'll play it really quick so you can kind of listen to see where those markers are placed along the music. I'm literally just listening to the music, or in this case, I actually didn't even listen to it. I just went along and created markers. So I haven't done it over here yet. So I would just hit my shortcut to create these markers along these points. So when I'm playing back, I can just easily align these clips to those markers, but you can also just right click the audio, go to markers and add marker. So yeah, just go ahead and add markers to your audio. And then once you have that, then you can bring in all of your clips and just make sure that they're aligned with that audio. And then as you can see, there's no speed ramping right now, but we are going to be adding that to these clips. So yeah, you just want to lay out your clips and once they're all laid out, then you can actually go ahead and start speed ramping. So the first thing you want to do for speed ramping is select your first clip and hit control alt T. That's going to open up the timer mapping, set a keyframe at the start of your clip and then go to the end and set one there as well. We can select these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to easy ease them, go into the graph editor. And your graph should look something like this. If not, then you just want to right click in this blank area and then make sure you have auto select graph type enabled. And we can just go ahead and create a graph where this first point is pointed upwards like this. And the last one is downward. So you create this, I don't know, like S shape almost. Um, this is like easy easing in and then easy easing out basically. So it's a pretty common graph that almost everyone uses for speed ramping. And yeah, playing this back, this clip is way too slow. So to fix that, I'm going to go to the end keyframe and just drag this layer up. So if you go to the timer map over here, if you bring it to the left, that's going to go backwards in time. As you can see, it's going backwards over here. So we want to bring it up. So it's going to be playing more of our footage. Um, so it's going to be technically like sped up a little bit, but we can slow it down and make it a little bit more like the normal speed. When I play this back, you can see that speed ramp isn't as slow and it ramps up super quick at the start and then speeds out at the end. So then we can transition into this next one. So same thing for this next clip, we're going to hit control alt T keyframe at the start, keyframe at the end, and just select those and hit F9 to easy ease them. And then create that same graph that we did for the other one. Once again, this might be a bit slow so we can on that last point, select it, increase the time just a little bit and you can see it expands this graph. So just go ahead and correct that by sharpening those points. So you get like a strong um, curve in and then curve out. You don't want it to be like gradual or else it just will look not as sharp and aggressive. But if you're going for something that looks a little bit more smooth, I guess, and you can have less of a speed ramp, but I kind of want to be able to see that, you know, it's speeding up the start. Um, actually, I'm going to go to this first point and drag this down. And you can see what that's doing to the clip here. It's bringing it backwards in time. So we're just going to be able to have this clip start a bit further back, which will make it look a lot faster in that speed ramp. As you can see, that actually looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and leave what I have for that one. And let's just go do one more. I'm not going to show you guys every single um, clip because obviously it's just going to be the same process and it's pretty tedious just to do this over and over and over again, but the final result is definitely worth it. So once again, I'm just easy easing these and yeah, there's not that much motion. So I'm just going to stretch these clips out for those keyframes and then create that nice little graph. That's looking pretty good. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the clips here and I'll see you guys once I'm done easy easing and speed ramping all those other layers. All right, so I just got done speed ramping all my different clips. I'm going to go ahead and play this back so you can see what it looks like. And the goal for this is just to make everything look as smooth as possible. 
Um, you can ignore these layers at the top too. Those are just adjustment layers. Also threw in a bit of a different speed ramp. It kind of like zooms in and then zooms back out towards the end. This is actually pretty simple to do. I'll show you what the graph looks like for that. So yeah, that basically just creates that zoom in speed ramp, but it has that zoom out. So it just transitions smoothly into that drone shot where it is panning out, revealing that like pool. So very clean and simple. You don't want to go too crazy with the speed ramps, especially for real estate. You want to keep it somewhat clean and not overdone. Um, I also added in a bit of a zoom for this one just to help transition this shot. So yeah, once you have all your speed ramps done, you want to go over here to your layers and enable this frame blending. You can literally just hold down um, your left click and then scroll down your clips and it'll enable that frame blending. And you want to do it one more time. So you have this arrow pointing to the right. As you can see, if you click it twice, it'll enable that. So just enable that for all your uh, different layers. And that's basically going to enable frame blending. So when your layers get super slowed down, it's not going to look choppy. It's going to like smooth it out and just in general, make your whole edit feel a lot more smooth. Now, the last thing I like to do once I'm done with the speed ramps is add some shakes throughout the edit. So what I'm going to do for this is just use my presets that I have for my shakes and the effects and presets. I already have them installed, obviously. But if you want to go ahead and get them for yourself, you can click the link down below and check them out. But if you do want to go ahead and use these, they're super simple to use. All you got to do is hit Control Alt Y to create that adjustment layer. I'm going to trim it down by hitting Shift Z. So at the start of this clip right here, I'm going to bring on my Shake Y Small Shake and then make sure Motion Blur is enabled on that adjustment layer as well. Play that back. And as you can see, it just adds that super smooth shake effect to our layer. And we can trim this down because we don't need that full adjustment layer. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that adjustment layer by hitting Control D, bring it over to that last clip, play that back, see how that looks. And that is also super cool. So you could honestly just keep duplicating that and adding it to literally every single marker and transition to your speed ramps, as I just did right there, which just adds that shake to each transition, which helps add that impact if that's what you're going for. I think it's a little bit too much, so I'd like to just add it in here and there where I feel like it needs it and according to the music as well. Like maybe we could add one at the start here, but instead of using that shake Y, we could delete those and use the shake one. See how that looks. And yeah, that is super clean. So if you want to go ahead and check those out, like I said, I do have those linked down in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can speed ramp for your real estate videos inside of After Effects. But if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.